Well, hello everybody. It's uh, it's uh, Friday the 21st of May. Not that you would think so looking at the weather. It's about 7 o'clock. And uh, I've been here since about 2 o'clock. It's now about 7 o'clock. This is the first chance I've had to really start to do the filming. I was going to do a video of if you see this or not, obviously don't, I haven't. I'm trying to film and cook my tea at the same time. Completely unsuccessfully. Making a more dog mess of it. Um, yeah, we are local water. We had a local water close to us and fishing with uh, the son Adam who's oh yeah, that's Adam in the baby opposite me. We're in the double peg. And there's Mark over there. And then there's Roger. And I'll say we've been here. Well, I've been here since about two o'clock. Got in the pegs and got everything shifty. It took us about till get on for three. Trying to, try to put the babies up the wind. It's, it's bad now, but it's there's nothing like as well, the phone. Nothing like as bad as it was. Um, but yeah, trying to put the babies up was an absolute nightmare. And it's just been blowing a gale. Low in a gale and uh, heavy rain non stop since we got here. It's been absolutely horrendous. But uh, we're here for 24 hours, so hopefully, this is going to pass in the night. I'm looking forward to a decent morning. Uh, so, yeah, so I'll leave it there until I've had my tea. Well, I'll tell you a bit more what we're doing actually. We're actually here. For we're fishing for tench and uh, not like the usual big fish waters are normally fish. This is actually quite a comfortable water, not such big fish, but a good stock of fish, good head of fish. And uh, Roger's had one pretty much as soon as he started fishing, he had one about four pounds. And my son Adam, he's had one about three, three and a half pounds. So we've had a couple of that, frankly. I don't think I really want any bites because I don't really want to have to go outside. In a minute, I'm quite happy to wait till morning. But, uh, but yeah, between the four of us, we had a couple. And uh, yeah, so I'll leave the earth now and I'll speak to you again soon. Okay, so there we go. This is a quick, uh, can't be bothered to wait, it's probably about four pounds, as you can see, from the end. Probably about a four pound test for the first one. Five minutes after that first minute. It's just gone about 8.30 now. And uh, no more fish been caught. The weather marginally bare, the wind has died down a little bit, still pissing it down with rain. Um, a lot of people have turned up as well, so it's quite busy. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little update on what's happening. I'm just struggling to get warm. That's him. And, uh, I think, uh, I think the rods will be coming in for the night. Come in for the night, get a bit of kip. Nobody wants to get out in this weather, middle of the night, particularly. Not for a bream or something like that. You know. um, get up early in the morning, four o'clock, and 
have a proper fish tomorrow when the weather's supposed to be a lot better, a lot drier. It's just been absolutely horrendous. It's the most horrendous conditions I've fished in, and I've been fishing for um, 45 years, something like that. So <laughs> it's been really bad, really wet. Um, I say it's, it's calming down now. I'll just give you a little. I'm not sure what you can see. But, uh, certainly nothing like as bad as it was. I don't think it's actually raining at the minute either. Just got the wrong rod at it after the minute, but that'll be coming back in soon. I've not really had the rods out long at all, all days really. I did finally get both of them out. Caught out one fish and and I left that rod in and I had to go back to the car so I had to ping the other rod in and I just cast it out so probably get to 9 o'clock and then call it a day for now so uh, yeah apart from the wind and the rain it's all gone quiet but, yeah I've got a lot of cart boys all turned up now so we did have the uh, Four end pegs are what they call a point, and uh, so he's on this point, and we've had it all to ourselves, and about four or five of the carp angles all joined in there. We've got, we've got the end of the point all to ourselves, but they're all, the old carp angles all in the swims all behind us lined up. And, um, yeah, so for now, until probably till morning now, that's about it, so there won't be any action in the night because we won't be fishing, <laughs> I'll be sleeping, so uh, we'll see what tomorrow morning brings. Well, another day, and what a difference, it's a little bit dark skies but Wind's calm right down, and uh, not too bad. Back into the bit a minute. It's about uh, half fox, and uh, yeah, what a night! Gosh, it's so wet. I've never. I've been out on a wetter day than this, well yesterday, and last night it was all night, it rained, just been non-stop rain since we got here till this morning, at the three or four o'clock. Did sleep well, the, uh, it's such a noisy place, we've got trains, trains honking geese, planes overhead, you name it, Christ, inquest, doing of an inquiry on the rocks, as I'm talking. And to top it all, I woke up uh, half three this morning, feeling something wet on my pillow, thinking, what the hell's that? Put my light on. A fucking worm. I've got a bag of worms, let me show you here. It's here. I thought I'd done it so they couldn't get out. I woke up and they were everywhere. All over my bed, on the ceiling, on my bed on the walls, absolutely everywhere, about 50 or 60 bloody worms. Oh my god, it was like waking up to something out of a horror film. I spent half an hour picking worms up in the bivvy, looking for worms, they're in my clothes, not in the clothes I was wearing, but the uh, waterproof trousers are in there. And, oh, nightmare, absolute nightmare. So if you've got worms, buy me the sack, they will escape. Trust me, they will get out. So whatever you do, put them in a container with the lid on and I'll so they can breathe, but don't just leave them in the bag like I did. So they just start with them, out they come, Jesus Christ. Half story, that's a bit nice there. Anyway, like I say, Rob, it's about half five, quarter six. I suppose I've had the rods out. I've got the rods out about five o'clock, so I've not been out long. I've just heard me had a little knock or an inquiry. 
Yeah, so yeah, open for better things. I'll put a bit of bait out, pellet of hemp, not too far out, probably fishing about 30 yards, if that. That's where I see one or two fish topping. Look to uh, first light. Adam's just getting up, I've just made him a brew, so he's just getting up. Roger and uh, Mark have been up for a while, they was up just after four. They were up and having a chat. And, uh, yeah, hoping to catch a few throughout the day, hopefully, all of us. And because uh, it's going to be dry today, hopefully, it's forecast dry anyway. Uh, might be able to get a bit of filming done, so if I do, I do. There's been three tents caught already. Now Adam had a tiny, tiny little roach on his rod when he pulled it and didn't even know he had it on. So we've caught a fish, but it's not going on film, I don't think, because. Uh, it's just the weather was just so horrendous, just driving rain. And he just couldn't, couldn't be able to do anything. He just wanted to get the fish in and get it back out and get back in your bivvy as quick as you could. It was just that bad. So yeah, hoping for better things today. So uh, we'll see how it goes. No fish on the end of it this time, man. You still got a maggot on it? I have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just make Must have been just from having a go and just have a recast. What, did you want to say something, Mark? Nothing at all. Do you want to say no. something? Nothing at all. You didn't see Roger. Roger don't mind, Roger's a star. Yeah. Every time we go fishing now, he's got that camera out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make these videos unless you've got them. Oh, yeah. I've got to have something to put on these videos, just film. You know, it'd be a bit boring if I just looked at the water and nothing else. Yeah. Bit like your last engine one. That was a bit... Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, not much happening, was there? Yeah. I have to say, Rod, you've got the nicest looking swim. Not bad, is it? It ain't bad, is it, at all? Not bad at all. Well, you were the first one to catch yesterday. Yeah, you were the first one to catch yesterday. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Didn't take you long either, did it? Soon come. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty quick. Yeah. Well, Job's a good one. There's Mark. So uh, how many you had Mark? What are you? What are you? Oh, what are we on? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get bigger in a minute, I know you will. Hmm? You'll get bigger than that in a minute, I know you will. You're a cop. You think so, no, I reckon so. Adam's open. Adam's open for one. What's up? Uh oh. Hey, good. Dad. Yeah, it sounded like a dad situation. Thunderbirds are go. Did you not take the bear alarm off? Yeah, I did, yeah. You cast out and everything's gone. Yeah. To be fair, the line is. Uh, has been on their meals for a while, it does need changing. Not to worry, we'll get you sorted. Well, I just did, I think. Yeah. Still as big as it wants to be another course, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know the right things to say, don't you, Roger? Show the camera up. A couple of them. See how big it is. The dick is massive, probably four pound. Four fifteen, so mm. that's short of five pounds. So 
Well done, mate. Thank you. Well done. He got him nice and so you can get a proper look. Small it looks. Bit Roger looking in, looking on. While I don't hook my tent. <laughs> Hold it there and I'll sit there and I'll hold him up. Oh, come on. It's not sure I'm going to untangle. Yeah. Always yeah. happens, doesn't it? Edit that bit out, won't you, Joe? I will. I oh, will. We'll leave that for a minute. There we go. Got the rafter. Tinker number three for me. Just <laughs> <laughs> give him a quick way. I don't think he's, he's about the same as the last one, I think. See if he would quite make five. He's not quite as big as the last one. 413. I'll try it this smaller. A little update for you. What time is it? Probably. What time is it, Mark? Half ten. Half ten. It's half ten now. And uh, you've probably seen Adam just had another tent. Uh, three seven, I think it was. About the same as the first one he had, I think. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've had three tents now. So not a massive amount, but it's <laughs> at least we've caught fish. Uh, it seems to be the bites are coming a bit more often now it seems to be for me and Adam unfortunately Roger and Mark haven't been getting any bites but I'm sure they'll get one short soon hopefully this is a uh, certain thing that comes up I don't know if you can see that yeah so uh, uh, yeah we've got another couple of hours at the most but hopefully we'll get one or two more but, um, yeah, today's a lot different from yesterday. <laughs> Not so much fishing wise, but weather wise. Even though it's not a great day now, certainly better than yesterday. This is dry. Um, so, yeah, just a little update for you. So, uh, hopefully, we'll show you another one shortly. <laughs> Rest in yours, mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, long night. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll leave you in peace. You go back to sleep. That's yes, alright, I'm all asleep. Uh, you go back to sleep, or I'll, I'll catch all your fish for you. I'll be waiting on you. <laughs>
us to sleep. Roger. Is he? Yeah. So would I if you were to ya. <laughs> if, if I wanted to do a film with you. <laughs> What good is in that bag? Okay. How no. come you're not a fat bastard like me? Probably because I don't eat it. Oh, well, that's a good point. <laughs> I thought that. Right? I'll just bite into it, should not bother eating it. Yeah. <coughs> they are nice looking swims, aren't they? They are nice. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they are. You wouldn't uh, argue with any of them, would you? Not really. It's all about the camping anyway. It's all about the camping, Mark. <laughs> it's a good night for me. <laughs> That's a good night for me. <laughs> good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> what do you think about your first overnighter um, tents fishing? Nice, apart from the weather. I mean, <laughs> probably the worst weather I've ever been in fishing. That's for sure. And uh, Me and all. I've been fishing 40 yeah. years. I'd recommend it, but also not recommend it. <laughs> I'd recommend picking the right day, to yeah, call, definitely. The right uh, weather. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, you know, got two tents. And... So it's the first time you've done it overnight, just you enjoyed it. it. Yeah. So... yeah. You enjoyed it, you got a laugh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so I mean, you do it again? Well, right, definitely, yeah. Definitely yeah. come again, so. Good. I didn't put me off. <laughs> <laughs> I've not made to put you no, off. Not even no. that. It's that weather we had yesterday didn't put you off, nothing ever will. Yeah, so. So that's good. good. Strong will. So, uh, <laughs> I use a catching, that's why as well. Oh, that helps, yeah, yeah. that helps. So. Good, good. Mm. We'll obviously do it again then. Definitely, yeah. That's one. Get on video, not first, won't we? And then last knockings and marks in. Marks into a fish. Can he save the blank? Can he save the blank? And just as, just as he's in, the rain's coming down again. Count in the net. <laughs> in. He's in! Oh. Mark saved the blank. Yes, Good lad. Hold on, mate. Hold on. Good day. Get in! We <laughs> 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 always believed. <laughs> See, I told you you'd get one. Do you want to weigh it? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not my biggest. Oh, what? Tench? Yeah. Well, you, yeah, you've had a six pounder before, haven't you? Denton. 6 11. Let's have a look, let me get a picture. <laughs> That's not a bad one, is it? No, not bad. It's off. No, I'll put it on the. Four and a half, I'd have said. I'll stick it on the top of that. It's not. Where do you want it? Anywhere you want it. Oh. Yeah, worries. You said you went going on. Yeah. See, I told you you'd get one. I knew you, I had every faith you'd get one in the end, Mark. I had every faith that you'd get one in the end. I did. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Oh, mate. Back on there after 24 hour session at the pits. And what. Uh, one of the for 24 hours it was, of course. Some of the worst weather I had to set a bivvy up in my fishing time, to start with. And then just torrential rain. And then the first fish came very quickly actually. Roger caught within probably 10 minutes of him putting his rod in. And he got his net out, so <laughs> while everyone was trying to shelter and bunker down and trying to hold the uh, bivvies down because the ground was that soft the, the wind was blowing the pegs out of the ground quick and you could hammer them back in <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and uh, yeah he yeah, didn't have his landing net set up so I had to go rushing out and get his landing net set up for him and land his fish while getting pee wet thrown <coughs> <coughs> excuse me and at that point uh, I thought oh no we <laughs> Nice we've gone early bite, but I thought we don't really want to be uh, going out in this weather and hooking fish and having to play fish every five minutes if it's going to start coming thick and fast. Not in the weather that we was, but as it happened, it didn't turn out that way. Um, 
I think that, uh, I think Adam had one later in the evening and then they were the only two fish in the evening so just like I said it was just constant weather it was just howling winds as well so just shocking and just terrible weather <laughs> and we were right in the, me and Adam were right in the face of it trying to position our bivvies in such a way as to stop the wind blowing straight in their faces which wasn't easy because there wasn't a great deal of room we were right at the end of a spit all four of us so there wasn't a massive amount of room for us all but anyway we survived and uh, at three, about half three in the morning, we had uh, the Great Escape, worm style. What a that won't <laughs> that's something I won't forget in a hurry. My God, like uh, waking up to something out of a horror show. Like this isn't this going to be a nightmare, right? Just wall, wall to wall worms on my bed, on the ceiling, on the sides of the bivvy, just everywhere. So I spent literally half an hour collecting all these worms back up and putting them back in the bag. That was, uh, yeah, not the best job or fun, <laughs> funniest thing I've ever done. But anyway, I was up at four and uh, we were the lads who were up four, apart from Adam, who slept in till about half five, six o'clock. And uh, yeah, very quiet, so we were expecting a decent, well, the, the storm had abated. It wasn't that too bad. Not brilliant, but it wasn't bad. And low pressure, and we, uh, we thought we'd be in for a few, but it was a very quiet start. And... Um, I don't think it was till probably around 10, 10.30 oh, I had a, an extra, an, another tench I'd already caught one well, I think I must have had one the night before as well I'm not sure yeah, I, I, yeah. yeah me, Roger and Adam were out, both had one uh, in the evening and then the following morning I had another one then me and Adam both had another one later on. Uh, and then thankfully, well, it was good that Mark got on the scorecard and he landed a tent last probably you no know, twenty minutes before you pack it up. So that was nice. That meant we all caught at least one. Yes, yeah, very. Mark and Roger ended up with one. I had three, and Adam had two, and he lost two as well, which was unfortunate. And one of them, I think, might have been a car. Certainly went uh, went well, but uh, yeah. So it's uh, an eventful session. Uh, Adam enjoyed it. Introduced him to the pleasures of night fishing, which he uh, thoroughly enjoyed, even despite the weather. So he's keen to go again, and uh, it was nice for us uh, to get some fish while filming for a change. I mean, the apologies for the first the afternoon and uh, first evening we were there. There's not much video footage of that, but it was just. You just if you had to go out for anything, you do all you wanted to do was just get back in your bivvy as quick as you could. Whatever you had to do, you just wanted to do it dead quick and just get back in. Because you just get soaked. We were, we were, well, we were soaked anyway, but you didn't want to get any worse than we already were. Nobody wanted to be out of the bivvies. It was just horrendous. Uh so yeah, so that's another fishing trip and a video wrapped up. So uh thanks for watching if you've watched it all the way through and uh Hope you enjoyed it. For now, I'll say goodbye and see you next time. Bye bye. See you next time.